The historic Dasara festivities in Karnataka this year will see a new addition, the Kaveri Arati on the lines of Ganga Arati in Varanasi, the constituency of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The ritual of lighting lamps on the river bank is not just a visual treat, but a practice to keep the cultural ethos intact. Off late, it is also a platform for politicians to make a political statement. In Karnataka too, the Arati ritual is bound to take a political colour. As soon as the Deputy Chief Minister and Water Resources Minister D.K. Shivkumar announced the event, the BJP was quick enough to ridicule the ruling Congress, saying it was faking interest in the Hindu ritual. Leader of the opposition, R. Ashok, said the Congress had little interest in protecting the Hindu culture. In fact, they had reopened 30-year-old cases against car sevaks during the consecration ceremony of Ram Mandir at Ayodhya this year. The BJP leader also asked why the Congress government had failed to arrest the culprits involved in the Ganesh Utsav clashes this year. The Karnataka Congress for long has been fighting its anti-Hindu image and Chief Minister Sidramaya's populist schemes and the Ahinda politics that unites the minorities, Dalits and backward classes has failed to change this perception. It was a joint effort by Sidramaya and Shivkumar that helped the party capture power in Karnataka. However, the two leaders are poles apart in their brand of politics. If Shivkumar, a Vakaliga leader, practices soft Hindutva to counter the Saffron party, Sidramaya, a Kuruba leader from the backward classes, relies on populism and secularism to woo his voters. Shivkumar's temple runs and visit to religious muds ahead of every election and on auspicious occasions is a talking point, whereas Siddharamaya's reluctance to visit temples and muds, allegations of him consuming meat before his visit to the temples has triggered controversies. Siddharamaya launching Tipu Jayanti during his first stint as a chief minister and now the district administration granting Mahisha Dasara celebrations in Mysuru, the home turf of Chief Minister, have both drawn severe criticism. The Sidramaya government withdrawing cases against the now banned PFI and STPI activists has drawn criticism from the Hindu activists. In 2014, post Lok Sabha elections, a confidential report by Congress veteran A.K. Antony stated that excess minority appeasement had alienated the majority community from the Congress party. The Congress is certainly walking a tight rope as it stands to lose in a communally polarized state. Sensing trouble, Shri Kumar, the state party chief, seems to have taken a leaf out of the RSS BJP playbook. He has focused on building a cadre based party as much as he has focused on building an army of social media volunteers to steer the party's campaign. Last January, when Sidramaya boycotted the consecration ceremony at the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, the state government had ordered special pujas across the 34,000 Muzrai temples. When the BJP taunted Shivkumar, he defended the move, saying that congressmen were also Hindus. Shivkumar's pitch for Hindutva goes much beyond the rhetoric. Elaborate rituals preceding the Mekedatu Padyatra in Ramnagara, the Yetinhole project inauguration in Hasan, and the latest 
ಕಾವೇರಿ ಆರತಿ ಇನ್ ಮಂಡ್ಯ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ ಟು ಮೊಬಿಲೈಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ಟನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಜನತಾ ದಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಇನ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೋದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ಫುಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಶಿವಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಮರ್ಜ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮಾಸ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ವಿನ್ ದ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ